Hi guys, good evening, good evening. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, everybody. Hi, Wendy. Good evening, Chrisia. Uh, Chrisia, good evening. Mr. Palma, good evening. How are you guys? Are you okay? Are you fine? Good evening, Miss. Hi. Evening, everybody. Are you, are you still at work or not today? I finished my, my, my turn. Okay. okay. Your shift? My shift, yes. Ah, okay, 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 that's good. So it is really nice that you're home. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Okay, super cool. Mm -hmm. uh, hi, hi, Jorge, good evening. How are you doing, guys? Is everything all right? Are you doing fine? Pretty good, teacher. Guys, can you hear me well or do you listen to me like super far away? Yes, we hear well. Oh, okay. Super clear. Yeah. Oh, okay, amazing, amazing, sounds really nice. All right, so thank you so much for joining, guys. Oh, I hope you feel better, Mr. Palma. Okay, don't get so excited. I know, I really hope you're fine. <laughs> okay, Diana, good evening, thank you so much for joining. So guys, uh, thank you so much uh, for joining today's session. We are in uh, class number nine, guys. This module, I feel everything, or like the time is going like pretty fast, yeah. which is good, but I mean, it's like really, really fast. Okay. 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 Mm -hmm. It is really fast. All right. So, thank you so much uh, for being here. We are going to cover a couple of things. Uh, I asked you yesterday com to complete one exercise with first conditional, because today we're gonna try to cover second conditional review. And of course, some vocabulary too. Um, so tomorrow we can uh, take the whole time for third conditional that is um, kind of complicated <laughs> or kind of uh, advanced, let's say, like the structure is like a little bit, um, you know, but it's super useful. So you will find it really, really useful too. Um, getting us started, guys, I have a couple of questions uh, for us to discuss. And uh, the first, uh, take a look at the first uh, little question we have right here, guys. And uh, it is related a little bit with uh, stereotypes. So the first says, are women more emotional than, than men? We were talking a little bit about like personality traits. We have been talking about characteristics of managers and all that stuff. So um, what do you think? What, what are your thoughts about question number one? So are women more emotional than men? Do you agree with this? Is it very common no. or is it just a stereotype? Mm, why not? <laughs> so defended guys because I, see, because I see that I, with my boyfriend i know i know oh, sorry uh -huh. very i know the many men very more emotional men <laughs> men oh yes. okay so you know a couple of men who are really Dram emotional all right dramatic dramatic mm, so they are no. drama queens <laughs> okay uh in english i don't know you have heard the expression drama queen so like a person yeah. who, who is like on top right okay drama okay. queen my father that's in that way but uh -huh. right now there are a lot of men uh -huh. men mm -hmm. that are so emotional. Mm, okay. But, but before, uh, uh, a woman is was more emotional, normally. Okay, so why, why do you think that now it's a little bit different? Why do you think that we find a lot of men who are kind of emotional? Actually, I agree, <laughs> I agree with uh, Jorge. Mm -hmm. Women, because in general, women are more sensible. Uh, sensitive, sensitive. Sensitive, sensitive okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, sensitive. well, we are sensible too. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh -huh. Okay. <clears throat> uh -huh. So, okay, give us more, give us more info. Sensitive, I'm oh, gonna write okay. it here, sensitive. Mm -hmm. Sensitive. Yes, so sensitive is like okay. emotional uh -huh. okay, or coaching. Mm -hmm. oh, okay, okay. Uh, because uh, in 
I I think in it, it most common to to see women uh, about uh, problems difficult. Mm -hmm. They cry in different situation. Okay. But, uh, the men is a uh, uh, the the men are uh, are sensitive also, but mm -hmm. uh, we are um, what do you say? I don't know. Macho men. <laughs> <laughs> What's that? But, okay, uh, you mean like you try not, not cry in front of people? Yeah. <laughs> I, oh, I, I consider that we was the last school. Are human. O sea, the old school. The old school. <laughs> the old school. <laughs> oh, but, but it calls. Change a lot. Okay, <laughs> it calls my attention a lot. Uh, this part that Mr. Palma mentioned, right? And I wrote this word in the chat that is chauvinist. Uh, so chauvinist is actually that, the culture in which men are men and they yes. shouldn't wear pink, they shouldn't cry. Um, yes. What else? Um, they should support the house or they should bring home like all the food and money. Mm -hmm. So, but that was like chauvinist. Yes, yes, Christian, tell us. I mm -hmm. think, uh, I think it depends because mm -hmm. I think now in this, um, um, I don't know in this generation, <laughs> century, this generation, or times. I, uh -huh. I think is a topic regarding of uh, machismo, mm -hmm. uh, chauvinism. Uh, mm -hmm. Okay, I think uh, uh, last years ago, uh, mm -hmm. the men don't like to to express their emotion because mm -hmm. we have a lot of a lot of. This I uh, machine, mm -hmm. I, I, I don't remember. Chauvinist. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. But in this time and this uh -huh. time, uh, I yeah, think the women are more and and we mm. and we Check save and our emotions and, and the and the papers change because the men are more emotional. I have the example, my father, my father is very emotional and he's older than me. <laughs> I think it's not that for the generation. So oh. it's the pain of the man and the time. And oh. also my, my boyfriend is very emotional. My best friend is very emotional and they are men. <laughs> yes. Oh, and they okay. tell me, oh, you have a, 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 a stone heart, I don't know. <laughs> But um no, I don't I, I don't have that kind of heart, but but, uh, but I don't but want to for express example, my emotions. But when you say that your dad is kind of uh, you mentioned now oh, my dad is a drama queen. <laughs> okay, yeah. now that you mentioned that your boyfriend is kind of very sensitive too, um, like in what kind of scenarios or uh for everything they start crying or there must be something I guess that triggers their emotions. Uh, what is it? What is it like a, a, a common scenario or a common situation? Why do you start crying? For my father, uh, for example, when he has a lot of stress in, her, in his work, mm. he talked to me and tell me, oh, I, I have a stress, but I don't mm. know what I can do in, in, in me. Oh. But you can make uh, solutions, you can do that and that and that mm -hmm. and the, and he say me no but i don't i don't i can't but i know yeah mm, dad you you can do it oh interesting <laughs> yes. okay and he's frustrated i think i don't know and and my boyfriend's too it's, oh. it's very emotional when uh for example when we have a a um, difference uh, difference with every every everything uh, <laughs> sometimes he cries yes oh. sometimes he cries and and i'm not <laughs> oh and you're like yes. what did i do what, what happened <laughs> yes. oh okay <laughs> i get for me it's very <laughs> 
Ah, okay. No, because she will make him angry. <laughs> like, yeah, like we did last time. Okay. Oh, very interesting. So um, you mentioned something important that some years ago, um, this was very common, right? Men had to be super strong emotionally, but now um, it has changed a little bit. All right. Thank you. Thank you so much for sharing your um, that point and really interesting, you know. Uh, so guys, what about the rest? What can you tell us? Um, do you know or do you have a friend of yours who is kind of sensitive? Boys, are you sensitive? Or are you still, as Mr. Palma said, the macho man here, so I shouldn't be crying in front of people. So uh, how, how would you go with this? I'm considered I'm the old school teacher. So you're the macho man. <laughs> <laughs> Are you serious? Kind of, not not so much, but okay. That's the necessary. Okay, um, but in what sense? Um, it's still like, oh, I have to be a man. Uh, women should not. Uh, or if you're married, for example, oh, my wife shouldn't work. Or normally, you you pay the the bill, you pay mm -hmm. the whatever. Mm -hmm. um, um maybe like you be the the support of your family mm -hmm. so um, you still you still go in that vibe you still go in that flow yeah. uh what about wearing colors like men shouldn't wear pink is that do you still uh support that i don't wear pink oh um, okay <laughs> okay <laughs> Okay, um, what, what was the other one? Uh, oh, what about crying? Like men shouldn't cry. Do you still go with that as well? Uh, not in front of people normally. Mm -hmm. Okay, but that is okay for you. Or do you feel offended when you see a man crying? Because I have seen a lot of men crying for a soccer team. Like when Alianza Barcelona, Real Madrid is playing. So they go like, no. And, uh -huh. I I know there are a lot of fanatism mm. in the in the world, but uh, that that kind of of situation I, I don't mm. care. I know it's, oh. it's because they play, but mm -hmm. when someone is so crying, mm -hmm. I, I I consider it's kind of weird. Mm, okay, okay. That makes sense. All right. Guys, anybody else uh, has something to share about number one? Would you like to add anything else? Okay. So in that case, let's jump to number two. Yes, yes, Gwendy, tell us. No, only, only add a depend situation mm -hmm. in, in my opinion is 50 50 50 mm -hmm. <laughs> Women why and and men okay the, 50, the pain 50. situation the pain uh, problems or the pain the personality uh, is normal and no no for no for this or for that mm -hmm. more uh, men, menos less less less, uh -huh. less, less men or cry, not less men, or, mm -hmm. or, or equal uh, a woman for, for the men cry, is not a, not, not, not a woman. O sea, no es oh, un, no got it, got ser, it. Mm -hmm. No solo por llorar va a ser menos o va a ser, eh, menos hombre, pues. Got it, exactly. So the, the fact that, I'm, uh, that a man cries um, doesn't uh, affect, right? His yeah, sort of her personality. Human. Got it. Mm -hmm. human. Human. Yes, but it's part of the culture, right? Part of the, of the cultural things we have. Okay, nice, nice. Really interesting, guys. Let's jump to the second one. Number two says, when are emotions a problem? Do you think that emotions can be a problem? Uh, do you think you can cry and you're fine? You can be you can be sensitive and you're fine. You can be kind of irritated and that's fine. 
or our emotions a problem? Have you ever been or have you ever seen somebody lose control out of their emotions? Hi, Susana, good evening. Nelson, uh, Nelson good evening. Great to see you. Hi, Tati. Good evening. Marilena, thank you for joining. Hi. Hi, Olga. Um, Hi, Mr. Bayou. I, I think this is the pen of the case also. Uh, because if you don't, if you don't, if you can't control your emotions, mm. uh, you maybe you can have problems or issues in your work mm -hmm. because uh, maybe your boss tell you something that you don't like and and you lose your control, you will cry, you will feel angry. I don't know, and that's not good for me. I think okay. it's not correct. Okay, so it is not correct. Yes, Wendy. In my opinion, um, emotion a problem, and I I don't control. I don't no. I I is. don't have. Uh -huh. if, is. If I don't. No. You're if, fine. You're fine. Uh, if I don't. If I don't uh -huh. control. Yes, yes, uh huh. Control. Okay. Yes. For example, cry in 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 my work. Mm -hmm. I cry in I I in front of the customers. In front of customers, for mm -hmm. example. No, <laughs> no. We can cry in the bathroom, but not in front of the boss, right? Yeah. <laughs> so your dignity is first. Okay. Okay. So that can be a problem. Okay. Okay. And guys, the last is going to be kind of Salvadorian. Like, so the last one says, what are some common gestures? Uh, what are some gestures that are common in our country? And what do they mean? Um, so uh, we are talking about like um, emotions and everything. And sometimes I think that we understand each other, but sometimes you see um, like a gesture, you see a body posture, you see a hand gesture, and you're like, you get angry immediately. I don't know if that happens to you. Um, so especially when you are in the street or you are driving, right? And somebody is like super mad at you, and, um, and you do some specific things with your hands like, something that I have seen a lot that people get angry at is when you are um, before the person who is like making a lot of noise because they want to go and zigzag you know and you just do something like that right like oh fly please if you can <laughs> and people get super angry um, do we have some gestures in the country that you consider can be a little irritating or disrespectful <laughs> I don't use many gestures, but probably guys, you do have a couple. <laughs> so is there any, anything legal, <laughs> anything doesn't, that doesn't get, get us into trouble <laughs> that you can share with gestures? Gestures when you are agree or disagree. Ah, okay, thumbs up, right? Uh-huh, or thumbs down. Okay, thumbs up, thumbs down. What else? But if you are anger, mm -hmm. you, you show you the middle finger. <laughs> okay, just stick on your middle finger. Okay, what else? Any other gesture you do? Um, when you are... What's that? Uh, like uh, you are agree with something, you can mm -hmm. clap. Clap. Oh, I do that, but to me sarcasm. So I do that, you know, but when I want to be sarcastic with another person, right? Um, like yes, also when you are agree with. Ah, yes, like um, uh -huh. action. Okay, right. Christian, what is that? <laughs> When you are so angry with with someone, you heard, oh, I want to, <laughs> I want to punch you. Know. Oh, yeah. okay. So you do that. You clench your fist. Okay, okay. Like you want to punch somebody, guys. Anything else? Do you use any? Uh, 
for example, when uh, someone say, here is your, your ex-girlfriend uh, mm -hmm. and, you, and you show the... the like a cross. Face. What is that? Like a cross. Uh -huh, like a cross? Is to avoid the... Ah, okay. Uh, like, please get away from me, something like that kind of like a thing. Crucifix for... Ah, okay. Ah, okay. 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 I have never used it. Okay, nice. Anything else, guys? Any other gesture that is kind example, of. Uh -huh. When you want to get a look, cross your ah, fingers. Yes, you cross your fingers. Exactly. Yeah. Okay. Like, oh, oh best of yeah. luck. Uh huh. Okay. Yeah. For example, good morning or good afternoon or oh, waving. Good yeah. Okay. Okay. Do we have? Well, yeah, we do have a couple that make us angry, right? <laughs> Probably later you remember a couple of them. No worries. All right. Um, so, guys, very nice job with this description. That sounds really, really good. And now to get started now with the topic, I have a couple, just one more question for you. Um, look at this scenario, look at the picture too. It says here, if you, if, oh, I'm sorry, I skipped. I missed one word here. So if you were in a deserted island for a month, what, uh, it could take only three objects. Imagine guys, somebody tells you, hey, you will go to an island, but you'll be alone. There's no electricity. There are not many things you can do, no cell phones, no, no way to communicate. So, and if you could take three objects, what would you take? So think about survival, all right? I'll give you one minute, guys. You can write the objects, but it is only three objects. Write the objects that you consider are the most, the most important ones. So in my case, for example, if I had to, be in a deserted island. I think that the first uh, thing that I would take is probably a pen knife. Pen knife. Uh, I would take a pen knife that is like a sort of a knife, but with a lot of options, right? Um, so it has a cutter, it has a knife, scissors, and everything. So I would take a pen knife with me. The second object that I would take with me are matches. Uh, or a lighter, so either matches or a lighter, so either of them would work for me. And maybe object number three that I would take uh, probably would be a rope, right? So like a big, big string that I can use to put objects together, to put trees together. So um, I think that those are the most useful, useful things in my case. What about in your case, guys? What would you take? So uh, think about three different ones uh, from the ones that I have right here, right? So don't include a pen knife, don't include a match or matches, uh, don't include rope. So remember that rope is a cuerda, right? So try to include different objects, all right? I'll give you one minute, guys. You are alone, no cell phone, no tablet because you won't use them. Uh, so what would you take? One minute. Think about it, please. And we discuss it in a second. Um, hi, Claudia. Good evening. Thanks for joining. Ariela, good evening. Thank you so much for being here. Hi, teacher. Good evening. Hello, miss. I'm missing... Who am I missing? Oh, Miss Norma. And Miss Serum. Okay.
Okay, guys, are you ready with your three objects or do you need extra time? Are you guys ready? I'm ready. Okay, perfect. So tell us what objects would ready. you select? Amazing. So what would you take? What would you take to a deserted island? Um, first, a firefighter. Um, a, a firefighter. No, a fire starter. Oh, okay. <laughs> I was when like, wait. When, <laughs> when you want to make fire. Yes. I, I don't know I was, if I could start a fire with a, I don't know, a pair of sticks. Um, I don't know. Well, why Maybe. not to give it a try? Uh huh. But you, for some reason, when I heard a fire, I just heard about a firefighter. So I was like, <laughs> wait, what? <laughs> Okay. What okay. uh they know. I I just thought maybe because they know about survival. Yes. <laughs> okay. Well, yes. Okay. What else, Ariel? The second one is a folding knife. Okay. And I'm not sure if um a pizza. Mm, what kind? Because yeah, thumbs, I don't think so. Mm. Because I can't be without, like, make my eyebrow. Are you serious? Tweezers? Yes. Oh, a pair of tweezers. Okay, yes. okay. Oh, interesting. Para que okay. no me encuentren, no me encuentren. Uh, okay, ah. they find you, like, in the best no, state no, possible. No. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's really interesting. <laughs> that is so peculiar, the list that you chose. Okay, that sounds nice. Wendy, what else? A firefighter? <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, how do you say um, light or linter? Lamper. A, a flashlight. A that flashlight. is a flashlight. A, mm -hmm. a flashlight or battery? Batteries. The battery. Flashlights. So that is flashlights and batteries. Flashlights. No, no, no. De, de batería. O sea, una que, que funcione con batería. Esto es una flashlight. Mm, but you don't have electricity and you don't have other batteries in the island. It is a deserted island, so. No, the light. The light with, with batteries. With batteries. Without. Oh, without. Without. Maybe with a solar panel uh, or the, um, I don't know, something like that. Solar I don't know. Uh -huh. Solar, solar flashlight. Okay, okay. So right. a sort of flashlight with no batteries on. Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, pool and water. Water. Yes, water but and pool. But you won't have food for two, how long it says here? Uh, a month. So it is almost impossible to take food for one month. You just need three <laughs> objects. That's not possible. Uh -huh. In water, you can take a gallon, but then uh, think about like two other things that you can use to survive, all right? Guys, what about the rest? Teacher, if I were a desert island, I would take a, firstly, a, um, what do you say? A, what's a, a sleeping bag, okay? Oh, a sleeping bag, okay. Sleeping bag. Mm -hmm. um, number two, um, uh, one book. Okay. And number three, uh, I don't know, uh, uh, a hammer. Ah, okay, a hammer. Oh, that sounds really interesting. Okay, you don't have a knife, you don't have a machete, but you can use a hammer. Okay, okay, sounds really reasonable. All right, and the book. Okay, okay, guys, nice. What, anybody else wants to share the three objects? 
I was thinking, teacher, in a uh, in a solar uh, lamp or linter or flashlight. Mm -hmm. uh, Let me see solar. Let me just make sure that that is the name flashlight. Um, yes, solar flashlight. Okay, so solar a sort of solar flashlight. Okay. Uh, the same of manual. I, I, a I, sleeping bag? No, a book. Oh, a um, book. Okay. And I, I choose a bicycle. Oh, okay, really interesting. Wow, different choices, but nice. So it sounds, Jorge, that you want to explore the whole place. You want to move in the island. Yes. Oh, okay okay cool cool guys who else who has a different list nobody else okay oh but sounds very interesting only, because you have different objects yes sure. yes 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 only i remember mm, i see one time mm -hmm. uh purifier I don't know how do you say water water purifier is uh, like um pajilla, como una pajilla, pero era para eso, para purificar el agua. Eso uh, wa so water, water purifying. Water purifier. Uh -huh. Yes. Water purifier. Oh, nice. Okay. Yes, that sounds amazing. Okay. So water purifier, all right. Um, oh, no, machete. <laughs> I thought about it. <laughs> I thought about a, a, a kuma or a machete. <laughs> okay, <laughs> so some water purifier and a machete, okay. Anything else that you would take, Maria? What else? Mm -hmm. What else, Maybe, Lupita? Um, campaign. Oh. A tent? Like tent a tienda de campaña, a tent? Yes, but um, mm, okay. someone is, um, la puede poner en el aire, hay una que puede poner en el aire que te guisa. <laughs> la la amarra. I don't know how to say it, but. Like, like a hammock, like an hamaca. Sí, yes. yes. Like oh, a Oh, a hammock. Oh, okay. Ah, yes, yes, you're right. Those are very not common but they are very useful too especially in rainy days oh mm. okay so a hammock or a tent okay interesting i love that i love the water purifying straw or pipe i don't know what that is because um you cannot have water for a long period of time yes claudia what do you have okay i will take uh, a knife uh -huh. uh, lighter. Okay. And uh, insect repellent. <laughs> no, but repellent. <laughs> yes, definitely. Okay, okay. But repellent, okay. Interesting choices. All right. Yes, Susana, what, what else? What else would you add? Okay. I, I, if, if I take a, a sniff, a similar, uh, Use a, a knife, like a, a knife. knife. Okay, uh -huh. a knife. similar to uh, a knife with the Swiss. Ah, uh, yes, that is a pen knife. Mm -hmm. A pen knife. Uh -huh. okay. Call a pen knife. Mm -hmm. okay. Use a uh, use a MacGyver. <laughs> yes, that's okay. why I like pen knives. So. <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh, I take a pack uh, of matches. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, and a bottle of water. And a bottle, okay, and a bottle of water. Well, later you can recycle maybe using the same bottle, okay? Nice, nice. Yes, Olga, do you have a different list? What would you take to a deserted island? Yes, I would take a knife, mm -hmm. a pot to boil water. Ah, okay. And a lighter to make campfire. A lighter. Lighter. 
like a, a lighter? Sí, sí. Ah, okay, to make some fire. Okay, yes. interesting. It caught my attention that you mentioned a pot to boil water, but mm -hmm. it's true. Uh -huh. So with the sun, uh, with the beans of the sun, mm -hmm. so you can boil yes. water. Okay, amazing, yes. guys. Really, really nice. But I think that the craziest least uh and i'm still like in shock that was um so ariana i think wait i still confuse your name ariela ariela, ariela? yes ariela <laughs> so i'm still like i mean are you serious would you take something to uh, like to kind of trim your eyebrows <laughs> <laughs> okay, but nice, nice, super cool. But obviously, eh, we are talking about uh, things that are not very common. I mean, most likely we will never be in a deserted island, right? Not for a long period of time. So let's talk today about some, um, what, um, unreal situations, things that probably are not going to happen as bad as it look and as bad as it seems and as bad as it sounds they, these are just uh, things that we think that we believe that we would like but they are not very common so here guys if you take a look you have um if you won the lottery what would you do yesterday we were talking about real scenarios things that are the most common to happen but these are things that are not going to happen um so i don't think what are the odds right um i don't know if you have heard this expression before what are the odds what are the odds that is true teacher uh, i five, three years ago i i won the the laundry are you serious yes but i i just bought two of the Two okay. tickets. tickets, two out of 20. Two of 20. Uh -huh. And so I just... I am curious, how, how, how much did you get? Uh, a thousand. Ah, okay. So in, 500? In tickets. Ah, so a thousand and a thousand. Yes, but the complete ticket was for... 20,000. Uh, 10,000. 10, oh, 10,000, okay. Wow, wow. No, but but you know, the lottery in El Salvador, I believe that the first prize is like a, a hundred thousand sometimes. Yes, a hundred thousand. Uh -huh. So it's a lot of money. So guys, okay. Oh, I didn't know. I always thought that it was a scam. <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. So um, guys, Jorge says that it is possible to get the lottery then or to win a prize. So take a look at this one. We have the expression, what are the odds, right? So what are the odds is like, ¿cuáles son las probabilidades? What is the probability that something like this can happen to you? So like one in 20, one in a million, one in, I don't know. So take a look at the first. Um, if you won the lottery, what would you do with the money? If you woke up suddenly because your house was on fire, uh, which would be the item that you would say first? What would you take? I mean, not that you will go back and get, but what would be the first thing that you would say, oh, this is important, I would take it. Um, if you could eat only what kind of, one kind of food for the rest of your life, what would you choose, guys? And if you saw a rat in your house, what would you do? Um, they are hypothetical scenarios or unreal scenarios. So how do I answer these questions? because they are things that are not real, my answer has to get this part right here. So we answer with, I would, I would do this, I would do that, or we can use also, I could, because we're talking about possibilities. These are the only answers um, that are most likely to be used in this kind of a scenarios. So guys, we are going to practice for a couple of minutes. Uh, please get ready. You can take a picture, you can take a screenshot, whatever is easier for you so we can practice. Um, and of course, um, think about 
all these possibilities, guys. I mean, if I won the lottery, the first thing that I would do is to pay my debts, <laughs> pay my house loan. Um, so I don't know if you have any debt or um, start my business or imagine that we're talking about $100,000. So what would you do with $100,000, right? In El Salvador, houses are super expensive, but we can think about some possibilities. Um, you so could guys, be an entrepreneur. You, I, I want to start my own business, uh -huh, so, but still you need a lot of money. So that is the problem, I guess. Um, okay, guys, I'm going to invite you to go to some groups. Um, so let's join them, please. Uh, we can discuss a little bit about the questions there. Give me one second. Okay. Okay, there we go. So um, guys, I have already sent the invitation so you can join the groups. Uh, Cristia Jorge, um, Mr. Uh, Susana and Wendy, you can stay here, guys. The rest, guys, let's go to the groups. We have 10 minutes to talk about some possibilities. And let's, um, and then we shared everybody's answer here. So uh, one more time, Cristia, Jorge, Susana, and Wendy, stay here, guys. Just stay here in the main station. Guys, the rest, let's go. Oh, enjoy. <laughs> enjoy, Cristia, no worries. Okay, guys, let's go. We have five minutes. Join, 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 join. Okay, what do you think about the question? I want to, to give my answer about the second question. The second okay. question is, let me see. The fire, no. No, the second up, question so. is, I know I, I want to, to give my answer about the third question. If you could only eat one food for the rest of your life, what would you choose? Okay. I will I would like to to eat potatoes. <laughs> I really like potatoes in any yeah. ways. <laughs> it's my yeah. favorite. It's my in favorite my, kind my, of food, I think. In you my can okay. pupusa. <laughs> I, I I like the potatoes because you can mm -hmm. uh, prepare puré, pure. I don't know how do you say puré. And uh, uh, you uh, can uh, do soup of potatoes. Uh, uh, you can you can I, eat fried potatoes. I, I don't know. I consider that question is is about you can choose like uh, vegetable. Vegetable. Do you think is 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 correct or just one one thing? I think it's just one thing. I think one food. One uh, food. Yes, one food is a, a prepare of of dish, but I don't have a favorite food. A uh, really really dish prepare. So I want to to choose a vegetable. In this case, is the potato. There, there are a question, teacher. Question. One one food means just one one item, or for example, tomatoes or vegetable in general. Or food prepared. I think we can we can choose a dish, but but in my case I want to choose the vegetable. Okay. <laughs> okay. Potato in in the case of Chris. And yes. In my case, pupusas. <laughs> okay. I I I in breakfast in lunch in lunch in dinner. In, in snack, in travel, in all. <laughs> all time. I like it. Okay. In that case, I would like to eat uh, fruits. 
Fruits. Fruit. Ah. Good idea. What about the number four? If you saw if you saw a rat in your house, what would you do? Uh, if I you saw put, a rat. put a put a tram. <laughs> you, uh, I, you I, I would I would put put oh uh, yes put yes a tram. Put, I put a tram. Put a tram. Yes. I, I will get a, a cat. A cat. The cats. <laughs> I don't know. The cats are not efficient for me. <laughs> depends of the cat. The, yeah, the cat. yeah, depends right of now. the cat. So a, a rat and is this cat is disgusting for for the for cat. Us. They don't want to 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 get the rat. Mm -hmm. Okay, is a tra a, a tramp or dangerous veneno? Yeah, dangerous. Then no, depends. Could be, but normally is better at the tramp. But it's a no, no. a cat to no. <laughs> Uh, I can't Maybe I need will more run. time. In the number two, if you woke up suddenly because your house was on fire, what item would you save first? My dogs. <laughs> what item? I I I'm not sure. My parents. If... <laughs> no, the, the, the dogs are not items. Um, I will, I will, I will save um, my yeah. computer. Your computer. My laptop. Yes. Um, I would like to to get my. Mark my box of papers. Your box of papers. <laughs> yes, the is is when I I put my my documents, my files. Ah, okay. Okay. Uh, I don't know. About you, Susana? Uh, in my case, I I save first um, my dog mm -hmm. and <laughs> my dog and um, it's it's to and um, document is a personal document. Mm -hmm. Okay. And you, Wendy, or Juan Carlos Rivas, or Mario? What no. question? I lost. Sorry. What? The second one, I think. The 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 fire. Yes. I say. Uh, only thing or person? It's an item. A thing. A thing. A thing. It's difficult. <laughs> uh, my kids. My kids are office. <laughs> no, myself. Okay. If you if you won the lottery, what would you do? In my case, I face my my house. 
<laughs> if the money is enough, that's okay. In my case, I, I, I would like to pay my bills, all my pending bills. Okay. In my case, I would keep, keep, es guardar, keep in the bank. Save, save money. Save? Save, save, save money. Save, save in the bank. Uh, okay. I, I want to one part of the the price but i don't remember what i do but <laughs> if 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 i want the the big price uh i would like to travel a lot in my case if the money is enough i will pay my bills and i want to travel around the world Yes, definitely. Me too. <laughs> travel, travel too. That is a good life. I I I saw I saw ticket travel or travel ticket <laughs> travel ticket. <laughs> but cheaper. I want one. I want to buy one ticket to Spain, maybe. Spain, okay. <laughs> it, but when it's in sale. Uh, Hi guys, hello back. Hello. <laughs> Were you able to finish discussing the questions or not really? Yes. yes we okay, perfect, perfect. Nice, nice. So we're just gonna wait for the rest to come. And uh, I just heard a little bit of your answers and that is really, really nice. A really good job with that. So guys, let's talk a little bit about the first. So the first question here says, if you won the lottery, I mean, we're talking about in El Salvador, $100,000, right? What would you do with $100,000? Uh, just, I would I like to pay the, my house. Okay, so you'll pay your house. Yes, but if the bigger price were like uh, 1 million, maybe, travel around the world and you forget to pay your house <laughs> okay so if it is a higher price you probably would travel around the world oh okay interesting so but imagine that it's only a hundred thousand dollars just claudia what would you do with a hundred thousand dollars if i win the lottery i will move to another country oh where where would you move um, England. Mm, okay, that sounds like a very nice place. What would you do in, yes. in England? Learn to speak English, British English. Oh, okay. So you'll move to England. It's, it's, no, but you move idea. to England just for British yeah, accent. <laughs> but but I I I know mm. three brothers of the same family, mm -hmm. they uh, move to England. Yes, they live actually in, in England. Uh, they mm -hmm. they ask for a, for a help. Mm -hmm. So in, some government aid. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. but it's, it's, there, are, there are many uh, probably to live mm. in England. But you know, um, a couple no, one year ago, uh, the government aid or the help that they provided to some okay. immigrants, um, that changed because a lot of oh. people were moving to England, uh -huh. oh, so okay. especially a lot of Central American people. So, oh. uh, one of my friends moved there last year, 
she applied for the governmental aid yes. because she said that El Salvador was dangerous and blah, yes, blah, yes. you know, the rest. Yes. Um, but she went with uh, all her family. So, so she is oh, in process actually, right now. Actually, they, they are changed in visa. Mm. their politics. But now, oh. yes, it is more difficult. Oh, okay. Yes, exactly. Now they need a visa. So if you don't have one, you're not able to travel anymore. And the government is a little bit more strict with the policies too. So one year ago, uh, you could do that. <laughs> but now okay. I think it's a little more complicated, but still. So Claudia makes a lot of sense there uh, to go to England just because for the, just because, you know, we can get the British accent. That is so nice. Yes. I'd like to go to Ireland. I think I prefer the uh, Irish accent more than British accent. I don't know why. Okay, nice. Guys, what about the rest? What would you do with $100,000? If if I won the lottery teacher, um, I, I would buy uh, a bigger house. You buy, okay, just buy a bigger house, all right. Yeah, me too, I buy a house, okay. And even I could have some money to start a business as well. Okay, guys, anything else? Any other idea? Yes, Wendy. You travel the world. You, you travel around the world. <laughs> okay, okay. My group, so My group said the idea and I, I take. <laughs> ah, okay, so it was like, oh, that sounds like a very nice idea. Okay, nice. Yeah. So guys, I have a little video for you that is actually about this question. What would you do if you won the lottery? But you know that in El Salvador, the lottery is not a lot. However, in other countries, the lottery, uh, when we speak about lottery, we're talking about one or two million dollars or pounds depending on the currency, right? So I want you to watch this video really quick. It's one minute video. And we have a lot of people being interviewed and they give different um, possibilities, let's say what they would do if they got the lottery. So guys, I'll give you three, four minutes. Watch the video, listen to the possibilities. Please, please, no subtitles. So no captions, no subtitles, just you and your ears. <laughs> I'm going to close my microphone so you can pay attention to the video and then we discuss what you understood, but please don't play subtitles. So um, I'm going to uh, turn off my mic so you can listen to that. No, no escribimos ni tomamos mm. captura. Esto no, no you, can, you can write it, you can take, you can take notes. But in the video, because you have the link right here in the chat, uh, but you are not supposed to play uh, with caption, right? Uh, caption are like the, uh, como los subtítulos in English, like no captions, Ooh. no subtitles, uh -huh, nothing. Just watch, listen. You can take notes, no problem with that, but no captions and no subtitles. Guys, we have five minutes.
teacher. Uh, yes. Um, it was just one video, right? Mm -hmm. Yes, it is one um, twenty, something like that. Okay, because I think you do play another one, so I thought that they were many videos. No, 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 it's only one. Oh, okay. Um, guys, are we ready or do you need more time? Is everybody ready? Yes. Okay. Nice, nice. So in the video, what did you listen to? Uh, what would these people do if they won the lottery? I'm agree with all of them. <laughs> I, okay. I <laughs> okay. So what else? I like what the first person said. I will quit my job. <laughs> Yeah, okay. I agree with that. <laughs> okay, so you agree with all of them. Yes, Guys, I will pay their bills, uh, help, help uh, their families, and okay. all they travel. Okay, so they, they will travel, they would help their family. Jorge, uh, Jorge you said me. retire? Retire immediately. Okay, so they will retire immediately. I feel so young to retire and one million dollars is going to be gone in some years. So, but okay, but that will work. Okay, guys, anything else? Uh, one of the girls said uh, she, she will um, to give to charity and, mm -hmm. and, her, and help her mom. Brother. That is like a super nice cause, right? So giving some money to charity or to and people who you know. The woman help the children. Mm, okay, a person would help some children. Okay. Teacher, the little kid say he yeah. just put it in the bank. Yeah. Oh, that was yeah, sweet. Oh, poor thing. <laughs> yes, but I don't want that. <laughs> yeah, I was like, oh, poor thing. You don't know the importance no of money. <laughs> okay. Sounds okay. better buy five house and go, go on vacation. Mm, okay, so buy a house, you know, or invest your money in something that you know, right? That will, will give you more money. Um, or a profitable funny, business. Funny, a uh, uh, woman say, sell, sell, go, goodbye New Jersey. Goodbye New Jersey. I mean, yes. So that is really similar to Claudia's opinion, right? Bye bye El Salvador. <laughs> yes. Okay. Also, yeah. a man, also a man said that he wants to live in an island with, with his family. I, but imagine guys, buying an island is not cheap. <laughs> 
So you need a lot of money. Yeah. And how would you move from the island to the ground or to the land to get tortillas and all those things? <laughs> <laughs> okay. No, but it's amazing. So it is really interesting that um, at this point, everybody, everybody knows the importance of money, right? <laughs> so we don't want to just put it into the bank. All right. Really, really nice. Guys, was the video easy to understand? Did it give you issues? No. 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 Yeah, kudos. Okay. Amazing. Really nice. So then in that case, let's jump to number four. Number four says, if you saw a rat in your house, what would you do? Guys, are you scared of rats? Would you go screaming, yes. help, help? What would you do, Claudia? Uh, I will yell and run. Okay. So who normally uh, helps you at home with rats? My husband. But okay. if he doesn't hear... I don't know what happens. So okay. I will jail. Okay, so until somebody gets to your rescue. <laughs> okay. okay. I mean, I don't, I'm not afraid of rats, but for some reason, I look at them and I don't know, there's something in there. So they are kind of gross or disgusting, I think. So I, I'm not sure. Just go and tell us. I put a drum. <laughs> ah, okay yeah so kind of chasing rats okay a little trap for them a little catch okay okay Tatiana what would you do guys boys oh let's listen to some boys too boys what would you do Mr. Palma Mr. Valle Nelson if I saw a rat in my house I I will get a cat ah okay you will get a cat all right it is funny I guess because um, and my neighbor has like 40 cats um, and in my house from time to time, there is a, a rat that is a visitor in my house. <laughs> so cats do, do not heal that much. <laughs> okay. Yeah. I mean, for me, I call a, set a trap or I call a streaming a company. <laughs> Yes, that's right. No, but if you have a lot, right? If you have many rats at home, uh huh, set a trap, call a professional. What about poison? Do you think that poison works? Yes, poison. Uh -huh. Poison is uh, something that you put for animals. When you don't want animals, you put um, not a trap, but so, some poison. Teacher, Do you think uh, it works? Uh, sometimes it doesn't work. Mm, okay. And it can be and, dangerous, um, right? Yes, for kids and other animals. Mm, that's right. That's right. Okay. So setting a trap. All right. Very nice. So take a look at the following sentences we have right here. Oh, where are you? Okay. And here it says, um, select the best answer or the best response. Um, just remember, second, this is conditional number two. So conditional two is simple past and then would or could because this is not real. And it says, if his nose were smaller, what can you use or how can we complete number one? If his nose were smaller, he very handsome. How would you complete this part, guys? Maybe using cool. Okay. He could be. He could be. So if his if his nose were smaller, he could be very handsome, or he couldn't be very handsome. So both are possible here. Okay. What about number two? I would come if. How can we complete number two? If I will have. Will have. Mm -hmm. But if you take a look at number two, we change the order. If goes in the middle. So would, and this has to be past. Past, I have, would, I would, past. Mm -hmm. I would come, if I, Claudia, can you say that again? Yes, perfect. 
I would come if I had a car, if I found a car, if I could get a card. So yes, next part goes in best. Um, why does it look so different? Oh, if you take a look, we are changing the order. So uh, in the first sentence, you start with if, and repeat means where to that next to if you have simple past. In the second sentence, you don't start with if, if is in the middle. So this has to be the one in simple past. So we can change the order as we did yesterday, but we change the full structure. Look at number three. If she, she would tell him, uh, what can we, uh, how can we complete number three? If she if knew. She tell him. Exactly, if she knew. Um, any other idea? If she knew, she would tell him. If she. I can, also, I can also say, ah, si ella quisiera. How can I say that? If she wants. Exactly, if she, if she wanted. So if she knew, if she wanted, right, she would tell him because the first part goes in simple past. Number four, what about four? If his parents didn't give him money, oh, we're talking about hypothetical situation. If his parents didn't give him money, he, Has. Um, you can give like more, uh, you can add more ideas in here, sir. If his parents didn't give him money. Oh, pass is here. So here we need would or could. He would, he could. Um, can you give me some ideas for this one? No, he, he couldn't. He couldn't buy. buy he was disappointed. He couldn't buy so much. He couldn't be, he could be disappointed. Yes. He could be disappointed so much. He could be disappointed so much. Yes, that will work. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Anything else? If his parents didn't give him money, he... He could save money. Oh, maybe the negative one. So if his parents didn't give him money, he couldn't save so much. Mm -hmm. So because it's like, oh, their parents are not giving the boy any money. All right, all right. Those are definitely possibilities in here. Uh, we have the next part and uh, just a, a couple more guys. The next one, um, they are like very um, small. Let's say you just have the prompts. So you have to include, right? You have to add here a lot of extra information. Guys, I'll give you three minutes. Um, try to complete them like with extra information if it is possible. Three more minutes.
Uh, one more minute. Um, are you ready guys or do you need more time? Ready. Ready, okay, amazing. So let's take a look at number one. He wouldn't say that if he... Knew it. Okay, okay. So he wouldn't say that if he knew it. Any other possibility? Here is super open. You can say almost everything. What do you have in number six? He wouldn't say that if he what? knew the truth about it. If he knew the what truth it? about it. Mm -hmm. Yes, Manuel. Want it. He wouldn't say that if he wanted. If he wanted it. He wouldn't say that if he wanted it. If he wanted it. Mm, okay. Okay. It is possible. Grammatically talking, it is possible. We just need more scenario. Or more context. Uh, guys, anything else? What else do you have over there? Teacher, uh, please. Uh, would would or, or can you write exactly in the question? What is our option? Um, what do you mean? In, in the in the chart is mm -hmm. and you write in the the option for for hmm. see the complete the 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 question or the the elaboration yes, complete teacher, please uh to the options here aha para poder completar ver ya completa la oración como y poder entenderlo well that, that is the point In this is super case, open in, mm. in my case, I don't understand, teacher. The thing is it's that if you, if you pay attention here, if you take a look, this is super open. We don't have a scenario. We don't have too much context. So almost everything is possible. Um, as long as it makes sense, I think that is all right. So if you take a look, the only thing that you need to uh, have into account or bear in mind is that uh, we, are, we need to complete this part with uh, the full structure for second conditional. So we have if in the middle. Um, so because we have if in this position, that means that this part has to be passed. And so once you follow the structure, we are just fine. So there are there is not just uh, one answered, but there can be a lot of possibilities here. For example, Claudia mentioned, he wouldn't say that if he knew it. It is a possibility, definitely, because the only thing that we need right here is a simple past verb, right? Um, so uh, Jorge said he wouldn't say that if he knew, right, the truth about it. Oh, okay, that makes sense as well, because we are just trying to complete this with um, a verb that matches in a way the sentence. Uh, Manuel said, for example, he wouldn't say that if he wanted, um, so if he wanted it. It is possible as well. We don't have much context, uh, so it is not possible to say, oh yeah, this is the best answer or this is the only answer. So this is super open and you can give any answer. He wouldn't say that. What other possibilities do we have for number six guys? Oh, he wouldn't say that if, 
Oh, he if he were aware of it, right? He wouldn't say that if he knew the situation, if he knew what is going on. There is just something that I want to add with this part, guys, and it is this beautiful verb right here. Um, in conditional number two, it is not common to use was. It is not common to say if I was, if he was, even though that is the correct way, because this is not real, you will see a lot of where for all the different subjects in English. So if he were, if I were, if she were, if it were. So this is the formal way uh, to use second conditional just to you know for you to for you to know just fyi so again there is not just one answer for this. as long as you have simple past that is just fine guys let's take a look at number seven number seven we have more more context in number seven so it says on a trip around the world if i won the lottery oh look at this um, this is a little um, similar to number six because simple past is in the second sentence. So what am I going to include in this part? Oh, easy. So I need something with would or something with could, any of them. So guys, what do you have in number seven? How do you complete this one? I will go on a trip around the world if I want to okay. learn. Mm -hmm. All right, so I will go on a trip. I I could uh, take on a trip as well, right? So we have a, still a couple of possibilities. Mm -hmm. Very nice. Uh, what about number eight? Oh, look at number eight. I Here will we be. have a perfect example of I, if I were you. Si yo fuera tú, if I were you, right? We don't say if I was but if I were, because this is formal English. So yes, Manuel, what do you have in here? Um, we need would or could, right? So would or could, okay. that would be okay. Mm -hmm. I will tell. I would tell. I would tell him that. Uh, mm -hmm. Okay. This is possible. I would tell him that if I were if I were you. Okay, yes, that is definitely a possibility. Yes, Tatiana. I wrote I will study that if I were you. Mm, okay, I would study that if I were you. Yes, yes, Claudia. What do you have? I wouldn't bring that if I were you. I wouldn't bring that if I were you. Okay, yes, we have a lot of scenarios. These are like super open statements. What else can we include here? Oh, imagine for example, that you're dating somebody and because you are really good friends, you tell your best friend, oh, I would break. I would, uh, I would break up that. I don't know, something like this. I will break him up. I will break up that if I were you. So whatever scenario, right, we can think of as long as we use it, that is totally fine. This is the expression that we use like, si estuvieran tus zapatos, right? So if I were you. Uh, what about number nine? If these walls, do you have number nine? Did you say where? Where exactly? Just where? Mm -hmm. If these walls were thicker, we could we wouldn't hear the neighbors. Mm -hmm. Where, even though well, this is plural, so where is fine. But for all of them, we are going to use where in second conditional. Mm -hmm. Number ten. If I were a millionaire, and we already practiced this, so mm -hmm. I think you would buy a lot of things. <laughs> yes, you would buy. You, I would travel. I could buy a mine. I could yeah. buy. I mm -hmm. would buy a mansion. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I would buy. I would spend it right in the mansion. I there are a lot of possibilities in here, guys. Questions with second conditional. I think it's this is not the first time you study the topic. If I am not uh, incorrect, so this is just kind of a review, right? Uh, do you have any question in here? Are we good? Are we fine? Doubts. 
Okay, in that case, let's go ahead and let's practice because that is the only way how we are going to get um, questions out. So I have a couple of questions for us to discuss. Those are kind of real scenarios, I have to say. Um, and super honest with you, on one of my interviews, they asked me um, two of these questions. And so I decided to bring it here um, so you can, mm, mm, okay, so we could practice these things. Um, on one of the interviews that I uh, once took, they asked me these questions. If you were given three wishes, uh, what would you wish? And for me, that was a really difficult question to answer. So I brought it up to you in case somebody asks you this question in an interview. They asked me another one and that was uh, this one. If you were powerful enough to change the world, what would you change? I don't know why they asked that, those questions. Probably Diana can give us more info <laughs> on how to answer those questions because it was um, a recruiting process for an American company. And I was like, oh my God, why do they wanna know that? <laughs> so uh, Diana, any idea why they ask those questions? Is that common? Do you ask questions like those in Spanish? Just to know if you are some kind of crazy. I thought, well, <laughs> the first thing that came to my mind was, oh, they want to know if I can speak English. But then I was like, wait, these questions are weird. <laughs> Do I need to atraviesa un concurso de belleza, teacher? I know, but imagine this one, if you were given three wishes and I was like, oh my God, I have no idea what to say. Uh, Diana, what, what can you give us on your, you know, professional point of view? Any recommendation how to answer those questions? Um, I think in this kind of, with this kind of question, it depends first from the kind of interview they were doing to you. Mm -hmm. If they are evaluating competition competencias competences uh -huh. competences they do this kind of questions because they want to to evaluate your creativity oh. to evaluate also how you can answer easily easily and hmm. don't get frustrated <laughs> when oh, you okay. don't you don't know how to answer it. yes yeah but you need to answer or is it okay if you say i don't know i don't know do you have any recommendation for us it's best if you answer uh, any kind of things. Um, it doesn't matter how crazy it sounds. No, it doesn't matter. <laughs> okay, okay. So really nice, I mean, because you have this experience with recruiting, right? Um, so you can give us also some recommendations on that. But guys, uh, seriously, um, that was an American company. So in case you plan in the future to work in an American company, you never know what kind of questions they will ask, <laughs> they will bring. So take a look at these questions. What would you do if somebody stole your car? Or if you see somebody, um, I don't know, trying to steal parts of your car, would you call the police? Would you start screaming? Would you jail? What would you do, right? Uh, what would you do if you saw a man trying to steal your car? So that was the second. If you were powerful enough to change the world, what would you change? What is something that um, you think needs to be fixed or meant? Um, if you were given three wishes, uh, that I think is the maybe the question that is a little bit complicated to answer. Um, uh, what would you wish, right? And the last one, where would you go if you could go anywhere in the world? I think we already know Claudia's answer, but we don't know the rest of your answers. So guys, we have some minutes. Um, let's discuss the questions, right? Uh, try to express your ideas. Uh, remember, this is a um, hypothetical situation. So it is okay if you answer with, I could, I would, and try to give a natural and a you know, real answer. And as Diana said before, you can be as creative as you want. So let's go for that. Um, give me just a moment. I want to invite some people here. Give me just a sec. Uh, you can take a screenshot, guys. You can take the, um, let me share. Let me see. I believe I can share the questions in the groups. And I'm going to try to do that. So give me just a moment. Okay. 
Okay, so that's one, two, and uh, three. Um, okay, guys, so I'm going to uh, ask you guys to join the small sessions. Uh, Claudia, please stay here. Nelson, stay here, please. Tatiana and Wendy, stay here. Stay in this session, please, guys. The rest we can go. Give me a second. I believe I can share the, the screens in your groups. Um, I'm going to try to do that. So, guys, please join the groups. We have 10 minutes to discuss. And then we share the answers uh, here. Oh, yes, I can. Okay, you can go to the groups. I will be sharing the, the questions here. So, um, Claudia, Nelson, Tatiana, and Wendy, stay here, guys. I'm going to be sharing my screen, but you are free to give your opinions. I'm going to monitor the other groups. Nelson, I want to listen to your voice in the recording. So, give us ideas, Nelson. No importa si le cuestan. Usted intenta. You give it a try. Acá le ayudamos. No problem. So, okay. let's do it, guys. We have 10 minutes. Okay, can you see some? Nelson, Claudia, Juan Carlos, Mario. Hello. Hello. Hello, Nelson. Hello. Try to answer the, the question. Da, da, the number da. one, if you want. Uh, number okay. three, if you can. If you were powerful enough, you change the word. What will you change? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Sorry. In my yes. case, the one, two, three, four. If you were give the three wishes, what would you wish? Okay. I could. I could. I could. Hey, Claudia, what what question do you want to to answer? Uh, the first and the second is the same. Ah, if you saw a man, mm. the second. Okay, I will try with the first. Okay. And after that, if you want, we can share about the, the opinions. Okay. Start? No. Comenzamos o, o, o cómo. ¿Qué tiene la respuesta? No. ¿Sí? De todos, o solo de las que dijimos. Solo la suya. Ah, ah ok. Ya todos agarramos. Sí. Okay. Bueno. Sí, por los demás son oyentes, creo. Y va. Ah, pero no se ponen oyentes, pero bueno. Y si se ponen oyentes, no. No les toman en cuenta las horas. Sí. 
drinking water. Nelson, oh. I don't know. Did you finish? No. Okay. I finished. Okay. Okay, start. Okay, one question. I will, if you want to, I will start. With the first one, what would you do if somebody stole your car? Uh, the first thing I will do will be to call the police to try to find my car. I think that is the best important thing because uh, they can call to another policeman and try to, to find it. Okay. In my case, if you were given three wishes, what would you wish? I would, I would wish, I would wish health, health, salud. I would wish Mariel, casarme, supongo que así es. I go children. How children? I will wish children. Hi, children. like so for that case, we can use like I would like. That sounds okay. So because those are wishes, so I would like to. So I would like to get married. I would like to have babies. So uh, we can use uh, I would like to. I could, that sounds I could, mm -hmm. como me gustaría. I, I mm, like. Just because of those <laughs> wishes. Yes, so I would. I would like uh, how health. I would like to marry. I would like to. I would like I to. Would like, I would like to how health. Mm -hmm. I would exactly. like to marry. <laughs> and mm. I would like to have children. Yes, exactly. Just with married, we include the expression get. I would like to get married. So I would I like would to get like married. Get married. To get. I would like I to get. I would like to get married. Yes, I like to get married. I would like to have babies. Mm -hmm. How many babies would you like to have, Wendy? Um, two, two babies. <laughs> ah, okay, okay. That sounds all right. Sounds nice. It's impossible. I all I all woman <laughs> because it's 
but those are wishes. I mean, you can adopt and they will be and they will be your baby. So oh, there are no I means nothing is impossible idea. in this world. <laughs> Uh, nothing is impossible anymore so you can adopt you know you can still get pregnant so that's a possibility <laughs> okay okay guys oh what about the rest oh you chose a question so you didn't discuss them but you chose one yes teacher mm, okay yeah. okay who is missing who is still missing me um I chose the second one. Eva. I saw a man trying to steal my car. I will call the police immediately and I yelled the teeth <laughs> to go to get away. <laughs> wow. Okay. But that that would be the first thing that you would do. I think first I would yell or I would I don't know, shout scream or do something like that or get super yes, but anxious. if you have a gun I'm like, I don't know uh -huh. so uh -huh. that would be really hard yes. so what would you do would you call the police imagine that are two teeth what would you do along with them uh -huh. oh I have you know I have never thought about it what would you do I think I start to scream yeah and so the same make a scandal yes uh -huh. yes because yes. if i if i scream maybe the the uh, other will, other people will come to your rescue maybe or or the or the guy is going to run i think because he or they run towards you <laughs> i had never thought about it guys so what would you do that is, I mean, that's a possibility, especially now. For some reason, robberies are increasing, I believe. So what would you do, guys? If you saw a person near your car, it's more than obvious that the person is trying to break into your car. So would you make a big scandal? Would you make a big fuss? Yes. I wrote this word in the chat that is make a fuss. So make a fuss is like make a big scandal, right? So like, oh, make a big something. <laughs> okay, so you would do that. And after you would do that, would you call the police? Yes. But first, I think make a, make a fuss. And you would make if, a fuss. at the same time, maybe I... I I will try to to call to the police, but maybe I'm going to be nervous. So uh, that's what I thought. Mm -hmm. uh, maybe I I don't know if I'm going to be I shock in shock. I okay, know. to be honest, you have to I, be brave, Tatiana. You have to be brave. To be honest, I think I would I, I would freak out. So because I wouldn't know what to do. So maybe here. you don't know what 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 are going to do at that time i think yeah so first i think that 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 is very um that is not something that you expect so i would freak out right so freak out is like be scared being shocked like you're like and you don't know what to do <laughs> so that is the first reaction right we normally get uh, so i would freak out um okay Guys, what would you do? Or if you saw somebody like uh, trying to break into your house? In that case, I think I can make a big pass and my neighbors will come and they will help. But if it's your car in the street, can be a little bit uncommon, right? Can be a little complicated. Teacher, remind that the street is alone. Or at night, or right? At night. Oh, yes. So if it is at night, what would you do? <gasps> Mm -hmm. Call the police. Just call the police. Take pictures. This is my probably. first reaction. Yes. Maybe make a video, take some pictures. Would you stay or would you go to a would you move to a safe place? Maybe I try to see if the the guy have a gun because okay. uh, you know is is very dangerous. I prefer he stole my car and I don't have any damage. 
Mm, that is another thing. But I mean, how would you feel if you are in front or some steps away, you see a person is taking your car away, the one that you're still paying, the one that has cost you a lot of effort, yes and you just see like bye bye no <laughs> I, I don't know I, I don't know what would you do guys but but you you have a really big point here so it is better to take your material stuff and you know that you're safe so no damage but still it's like um so what would you do <laughs> nelson what would you do <laughs> Hello. And number three, and this is you will a powerful and now to change the world. What will you change? Mm, uh, no, in number two, in number two, if, what would you do if you saw uh, that somebody is trying to steal your car? Yeah. Oh. It's a goal. Uh, because the girls uh, here say uh, that they would call the police or, I mean, in my case, I would freak out completely. So, but what would you do? Would you try to fight the person? You would call, le llamaría, you would call the police? Yes. Díganos la idea completa. I would call. I would call. Call. I would call the police, okay. You will call the police. All right. Would you fight? Would you try to fight? So, pelearía? Would you try to fight? Uh, uh, si es una persona, if this is, or if okay. this were a person only, would you fight with the person? Yes. It's a, I, I, I call, uh, you say, uh, you say, I'll <laughs> Uh, do you have a taser? Yes. Es que acabo de escuchar el sonido, so I'm like, do you have one? <gasps> oh, you got, is that a taser? Yes, it's, but it's uh, uh, como defensa personal. Oh. Wow. Wow, I need one of those. <laughs> Tal vez no me electrocuto yo sola. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> Nelson has one. Okay. So you could use it. So Nelson, in your case, you could use it. So usted sí lo podría usar. So you could yeah. go, you know, fight with the person and use the taser. Okay. okay. Ah, super cool. <laughs> we need one of those girls. So we need, um, I think uh, we definitely need to get one of those. Or a, um, one? I'm sorry. Uh -huh. Or a spray. How do you call it? Pepper spray. So or a pepper spray. Pepper spray. Pepper, mm -hmm. spray. pepper spray. Probably. That I can have be one teacher. A mm, class, okay. A classmate. Oh my God. Nice. A classmate oh computer com, com, computer computer uh -huh. No, I no sé cómo se dice computación. I'm sorry. Computación. Uh, yes, computer, computer science. Computer science. Uh, I study computer science. And, okay. Uh, a classmate gave mm -hmm. gave a a, pep, a pepper pepper Fried spray pepper, pepper spray. And oh, Tatiana has a pepper yes, spray there. Yes, this is. Oh, okay. I need to get one of those. So and you could use them. I mean, you could defend yourself or you can go. And Tatiana, you, you already use it? No, thanks God, no, but. <laughs> using, using not class? even by accident? The wedding, the opportunity. No. No, because you, I, have, I have to move this and press la, it. El, el, el compañer, my classmate used uh -huh. in the class. No, uh, yes, but that burns, that burns your eyes. Terrible, terrible. You get intoxicated, uh, no, no, I guess. In, in the, in, in, in class, uh -huh. but, but no, no, a, a person, a, a only person, uh, 
So in, in the classroom, classroom there was classroom. nobody. Yes. In but the, in the, in the but in the classroom was um the yeah. uh was there some people it there? It's strong. It is strong and out. In okay. Out out the 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 classroom. Everybody exit. So everybody exit. went out of the e classroom. Mm -hmm. Exit the classroom. Yes. Yes. The thing with the pepper spray, I have never used that, but I have seen some videos that when you use it, th that burns your your eyes. So I don't know. Tatiana, not even by mistake, not even by accident, you have never used it? No, because uh, it's very, it's very sure, I think. I, I, it's in my, in my bag, my. Oh, it's like a, bag. like a mini, like a mini pepper spray. Yeah. Yes, it's mini, and I I have to move this to here and after press. So I have never oh had a, an accident. Oh, okay. But when I have to when I have to go to my work at four a.m., mm -hmm. uh, I think it was a good idea because uh, sometimes I was I was afraid about the about the the time. So, but I, mm -hmm. yes, uh, but I never had an accident, actually. Mm, okay, that sounds all right. Wow, but I, I'm, I, I'm like super happy, you know, and uh, Nelson, where did you get it? So Tatiana has a purple spray and, and Nelson, you have to tell us more about that. Did the company give you that one or how did you get it or where did you get it? Your taser, your taser, Nelson. So um, where where did you get it? Donde lo consiguió? Or ah, how sorry. did you get it? Uh, in the store. The store you bought the, it. The store de, no podría decirle, en venta de donde venden accesorios para armas. Mm, okay. Okay, what else do you have? <laughs> okay, ¿qué más tiene Nelson? What else do you have? So you have a oh. guys. <laughs> thank you for coming <laughs> back. Teacher, yes. Teacher, in my case, I have an umbrella. <laughs> and I'm, ah, an oh, umbrella hit to hit somebody. <laughs> yeah. That can be a weapon too. Oh, guys, <laughs> the thing is that we are talking with these guys about like number one and number two. What would you do if you saw somebody stealing your car? Or what would you do if somebody um, actually stole your car? So uh, these guys were showing like some of the objects they have for self-defense, like pepper spray. And Nelson has a taser there. So um, that's why we were asking, you know, a little bit about it. Um, guys, um, and we came to this question, like, would you fight with a thief? People no. No. no, no, I would be afraid for that. You would be afraid to do that, not even with a pepper spray, a taser. Mm -hmm. No, 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 you wouldn't give it a try. Yes, <laughs> no, no, it's not, it's you not worth it. I you only have a, a pen with me, a pen, I, I, yes, a pen. I can put the pen in you the can, uh -huh. eyes <laughs> like you can stop the person okay yes you know um i was reading about self-defense because it is important and i found that you can use your keys so if you need to defend yourself you know or your body is at risk so you can use the keys of your car or the keys of your house you put them into your fingers and that becomes a very dangerous weapon. So that is why we were asking Nelson about the, the like what he have, you know, to protect himself. But Nelson no nos quiere decir. Nelson, <laughs> ¿qué más tiene Nelson? What else do you have? Only the taser? Muéstranos el taser. Show us the taser. A la maybe. No es que nos mostró el taser. He has it there. I want to see it. Oh. What yeah, y es el sonidito. Uh -huh. Amazing. No se vaya a electrocutar, Nelson. <laughs> I don't want to feel it. Wow. Oh, uh -huh. my God. I But I was like, hey. yeah, That's I thought the same. 10,000 volts. How, how much is it? How much is it, Nelson? How much? 
20 dollars, 30, 40. How much no. is it? I know, I, I know expensive is uh, in the world. Five dollars. Ten dollars. Ten dollars? Yes. Are you serious? Yes. Oh. I give you nine right now. Ah. Oh. <laughs> we find <laughs> that in Dollar City. And you with can, delivery. <laughs> you, can, you can buy uh, this article in, uh, uh, in, in Chinese products. Laser. AliExpress. Tiene un punto láser que también se puede usar para ponérselo a una arma. Mm, como una mirilla, right? Like ah, a sort, sí, okay, un, yeah, un, like a sort of mira. target. But ah, this device okay. can stop a person. Oh, mm -hmm. that's a really good question. Can it stop a person? Or, o solo es de juguetito. Just no. scare a person. Can it is, ya lo he probado, Nelson. <laughs> <laughs> test it, test it, and you tell us tomorrow. <laughs> no. Okay, so test it. No, but I mean, have you ever tested that product? Si lo proban personas, not even by accident. Y si funciona, does it work? ¿Por cuánto tiempo lo noquea? How long does it knock you down? No, tal vez no es que lo noquea, no, 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 no lo noquea, pero sí se detiene a la persona porque le da lo ciega. el impacto. Ajá, lo friega. Because I have seen some from the police, but they knock people down. So, okay, that can be. <laughs> yeah, oh, really? Yeah. Is it forbidden? Esa es prohibido. Teniendo, bueno, teniendo este lo que es licencia para portar de arma, creo que no. Pero si no tiene licencia para portar armas, sí. What about that one? El que usted tiene, si es permitido. ¿Es that permitas? Si hay, si tiene una licencia para portación de armas, sí. Tam oh, okay, guys. No, sorry. So we have to go with the pe pepper spray. Okay. <laughs> Anyways. All right. Guys, that has been amazing. ¿La umbrella o a pen? <laughs> well, yeah, you know, it can help. Okay, guys, amazing participation. That has been amazing. I have learned a lot of things from you. <laughs> so thank you so much for that. Um, so we are going to be checking tomorrow the homework for first conditional. So we can start with the third conditional and that is going to be the last. Um, guys, before you go, um, so Jorge, if you can stay some minutes, that would be really nice. Guys, the rest of you are dismissed and I'll be seeing you tomorrow. Have a good night, everybody. See you, Bye. see you. Nelson, no lo voy a probar. Don't test it Andale. with yourself. <laughs> Bye, guys. Teacher. No. Hi. Bye. Teacher. Bye. Hi, Ariel. What is your telephone number? Hi, Susana. Um, my let me see. Uh, you will find it in the group. It's seven six seven eight, I believe. Okay. It it appears as Arsenio, I think. Mm -hmm. Oh, send me the homework, right? <laughs> yes. In, okay. I, what is your your cell phone? No. Yes, uh, 7678. Mm -hmm. And you'll find it over there. Okay, uh, okay. thank you guys. I'll be seeing you okay. tomorrow. Okay. Send me the homework, okay. Susana. And uh, let's just go with one and one session with Mr. Bella here. All right, bye. give me one second. Bye bye. See you, see you. Give me one second. Let me just make sure. Nobody else is over here. Okay. Hi, Mr. Bella. Thank you. I'm going to steal a couple of minutes of your time. <laughs> so really nice participation, by the way. Um, normally, the one at one station is to cover some questions and in case you have some doubts, some questions. Uh, but I want to take some time to, to say thank you so much for your attendance. I think you have not missed a class so far. And I always listen that you are participating and you're here. So that is super amazing. Um, I mean, but you're doing an amazing job. So you're doing just fine. Um, some of the things that I believe I have heard in these days is that, um, so your grammar is really nice. You have a very good 
list of vocabulary. And I think that your listening is improving a lot, which is amazing. But I have noticed that um, it takes you a little time to put ideas in order. I don't know. And you tell me, mm -hmm. are you thinking a lot in Spanish? Are you trying to translate things? Or um, is it because you have forgotten vocabulary? So, because that's the only thing I have noticed that you take a both little of, longer to process your ideas. Both of them is correct. Uh, most of the time I was thinking in Spanish and I'm trying to translate to English. Mm -hmm. And yeah, yeah. sometimes I forgot the correct word Maybe I know the word, but when I want to use that, I don't remember. But I I believe other th other thing that could be good for speak uh, could be uh, have connection words. Mm -hmm. I I don't use the connection words. I feel that I mm -hmm. I. My my sentences are pretty short, and mm -hmm. if I want to to combine or add more information, mm -hmm. I, I I know I need to 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 use some connectors. Yes. Mm, okay. So you mentioned that you're translating. Um, quick question: Do you feel that way? Uh, do you feel? Are you thinking in Spanish? Um, so first you think in Spanish and then you move to English or you're like Spanish, English, Spanish, English. So how, how does it work? Um, I think, I think I'm, I'm thinking in Spanish. Mm, you're thinking in Spanish. Most of, okay. Most of the time. Okay. So, um, let's do a little exercise then. So um, first, uh, puede ser dos cosas. The first thing can be. It's normal, obviously, because it's a language donde estamos cómodos. That is the, our language. Um, that can be one thing. And the second thing can be that um, no terminamos como de hacerlo um, to, to grab it, you know. And, uh, pero significa que si podemos. It means that we can um, go one step forward and we can stop using Spanish. Okay, let me ask you some questions. Okay. And intenta responderle. <laughs> Try to answer to me lo más rápido que pueda, the fastest you can. Uh, if it's possible, don't translate ideas, just listen to the question y respóndame. Lo primero que se le ocurra, lo primero que salga, you know, um, no lo piense, no lo procese, solo responda. Is that okay with you? Okay. Solo para, you know, probar uh, if that is something that que puede funcionar. Okay, so um, Jorge, where do you live? I live in. Soy Apango. Okay, how old are you? 44. Okay, um, so do you have kids? Do you have children? I have one. Ah, oh, what's her name or his name? Is that a boy or a girl? It's a boy, his name is Jorge Eduardo. Ah, okay, very similar to your name. <laughs> okay, nice. Uh, where do you work? I work in cell. Cell in, is, in sales department? No, sales is Comisión Ejecutiva Hidroeléctrica del Rio Lenta. Oh, okay. I'm, I was wrong. I thought you were for sales. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. So, right, but you're right now you are in San Miguel, right? Yes. Mm, I, and I heard I, that you are an engineer. Civil engineer. Civil engineer. Okay. Do you work as a civil engineer in San Miguel? Yes. What do you do there? What's like your activity or what's your responsibility in San Miguel? Um, I'm in charge of uh, contract issues. Mm, okay. With, budget? Do you work with budget? Uh, like money? Kind of. And mm -hmm. the documents to, to make a, a new contracts. Mm, okay, got it. Okay, let's go over there. Uh, so, first question. Iba traduciendo las preguntas? Uh, Algunas. <laughs> I mean, pero que realmente usted procesara que traducía al español o solamente intentaba agarrarla en el aire e intentaba responderla? Intentaba responderla. 
Ok, eso significa que we are not translating. Al momento que le respondió, no lo vi pensando. I didn't see you thinking. So fue más como algo, fue más como directo, right? Yo sentí que me tardé algo en algunas porque quizás estaba, o estaba buscando las palabras. Mm -hmm. Ok, bueno, vamos a hacer lo siguiente. We're going to do the next. Eh, porque creo que es algo que podemos solventar. Eh, porque tiene el vocabulario. You got the vocabulary. Solamente es como de evitar irnos al español y pensar dos veces. Pensarlo en español, buscar las palabras. Y en esa, en esa transición de buscar las palabras es que nos, nos cometemos más errores, right? Porque estamos pensando y traduciendo en español. So, uh, vamos a hacer un, un pequeño ejercicio. Algunos compañeros les he dejado ejercicios de listening, um, otros ejercicios de grammar. Eh, pero siento que los suyos más como... Um, de, de hacer esa transición, you know, y con los conectores podemos igual ir incluyendo, usted está súper, lo bueno es que usted sabe que necesita, entonces 